Well, we're here already in an elimination game between the Edmonton Oilers and Winnipeg Jets. Game four tonight. That's Shane Kelly, Aaron Ward. I'm David Pinota. Our playoff coverage brought to you by BitBuy, Canada's number one cryptocurrency platform. And Wardle, let's start here. Is this on a back-to-back -back more beneficial for Edmonton to put that game behind them and focus on tonight? Or is this better for the Jets to potentially get this series over with? I think it's benefits to Edmonton. I think time's not on their side. And I would come into this uh, this little segment saying I'm speechless, but somehow I'll find the words. You know me. Uh, I mean, the Edmonton Oilers, this is a circumstance where you've got to put it behind you. I don't imagine the Tippett's going to come out with any type of video from yesterday's game and show it today. I think this is simply a, a gut check, intestinal fortitude, whatever you want to call it, for this Edmonton Oilers team to step away from almost a stigma that's, that's kind of hampered them, has stuck with them for a very long time, over they just can't get it done, right? It's something over the regular season. You've had the talent, but not the depth. And when it comes to key circumstances, you don't actually get it done. And now it's in the playoffs with a 4-1 lead with about eight minutes left. And this, this team systematically dismantled itself, right? Starting to step off the gas, not doing the things that are required. And I can't say that this is on Tippett. This is on the team. This is on the players. At this point of the season, you've got to know what you, what you need to be doing in the moment. So, um, the task now is for Tippett to refocus this team, however he does it, uh, keep them out of out of media sight, uh, keep them off of media. This team has to go into this game in Winnipeg, focus on simply playing a 60-minute game and preparing for anything further into overtime. Shane, what about Winnipeg? I mean, we've kind of poo-pooed them for a good portion of the season, especially with their five-on-five -five play, but it's been working and it clearly did last night. Yeah, coming into this series, you know, there was two things that we highlighted that the Jets were actually good at in the regular season that they need to lean on, and that was Hellebuck. He's been a Vesna caliber goalie uh, just as he was during the regular season, and their forecheck. That was really all they had going for them coming into this series, and the forecheck has absolutely smothered anything that the Oilers have tried to do. If you told me that there was a nine-goal game in this series and the Jets won it, I would have, you know, my jaw would hit the floor before this series started. And the fact of the matter is, you know, there's just not a lot to this Oilers team after McDavid and Dreisaitl, as we discussed in the preview. And if those two guys aren't carrying them, you know, they, they don't have the secondary scoring. And the other issue is, you know, those guys aren't exactly really strong defensively. They give a lot back in terms of their expected goals against numbers. So when you're up 4-1 to one and you want to try to sit on a lead, well, the problem is your two best forwards aren't great at doing that. So, you know, your, your only hope is to keep pushing and try to score more goals. So I don't know where the Oilers go from here, but the Jets really, they just need Hellebuck to steal one more game out of the next several. So, you know, they're, they're sitting pretty right now. Oilers... I, think to that, I think to that point, too, if, if you're going to relieve Tippett of all of the blame for what happened yesterday, I think you got to give kudos to Paul Maurice for having a plan coming into the series and sticking with it. The idea that, I mean, every pundit, every critic out there, anybody in media was asking them, why the hell is he not putting Dubois and Ehlers in there if they're po possibly healthy? I mean, even the fact that Ehlers is coming out before game two saying he's ready to play, he wants to go, and still managing it. And it's it shows a level of confidence in your plan. Uh, uh, big cojones, I'll put it that way, because you want to put everything possible out there to, to help you win, especially against the McDavid dry saddle two-headed monster. And he was patient, and it paid off. And then you see what happened yesterday with Ehlers with two goals, and now you're going to go into a back-to-back -back with relatively rested guys that were injured, and you know that you're managing them well. It's all a lot about athlete management come this time of season. So Paul Maurice deserves a lot of credit for how this team performed over the last three games and how they're going to head into game four. Only four teams in NHL history have come back down 3 nothing in a playoff series. The last team to do it were the LA Kings in 2014 against San Jose. Turned out they won the cup that year. We'll see what happens with the Edmonton Oilers tonight against the Jets. That's Aaron Ward, Shane Kelly. I'm David Pinota.